Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're back on the Hermitcraft server. It is episode 61, and we're currently over here inside my new train station area, ready to start recording another video. Now, I've just realised a lot of you probably don't recognise this place, and that is because we built this area on the Monday evening livestream. This, this is the new grand entrance to my base, and you may be noticing... Yeah, it's looking just a little bit rough around the edges, and that was actually what I was going to be working on in today's episode. I was going to work on sprucing this place up, making it look a whole bunch better, but something has come up. I left college earlier on. I, I had just had an exam. I came home from college. In fact, you know what? I'm going to bring something up about exams, all right? Because I seem to have really awful luck with exams. I, this is going to sound very British here, but what is it with the weather in exam period, Okay. Every other day of the year, I have to put up with rain, drizzle, clouds, all that stuff, you know, all the terrible weather. As soon as exam period comes around, okay, I can pretty much guarantee that on the days that I have exams, I'm going to get stonking hot weather, okay? It was boiling today, clear blue skies, absolutely lovely. Of course, the exam hall was just boiling, so, so toasty, so very warm. I was sitting next to someone that had somehow managed to contract a cold in June. I mean, what do you, how do people get that? How have you got a sniffly nose? It's almost the middle of the year. And also, of course, I had a wobbly desk. My pen was intermittent at best. It was just a bit of a rough time, but the exam went okay. But I just seem to have the worst luck with those sorts of things. I don't know if you guys that. Do you guys get that? Am I the only one in England that seems to get unlucky with exams and things? Hopefully, it's not just me. Hopefully, everyone else had those sorts of troubles. But that was my exam period, okay? So I came home. I was excited for some hermit craft today. And I hop on the server to find a fairly surprised false symmetry. Now that's always bad news, okay? When someone is surprised to see you, that generally means that they're doing something that they shouldn't be in your base area. So I'm gonna have to have a look around and we're going to see what's been going on. Well, that didn't take very long. As far as I can, I don't remember building that, okay? That doesn't look like something I've built. I literally just went up the ladder, turned round, and spotted that thing. It looks big. Oh boy, it looks really very big. Oh my, what? I know what that is. <laughs> I know what that is. I haven't seen the film, but I know what that is. Wow. He's huge. Oh my word, what's his name? I don't actually know his name, but I know, I know the guy. Oh my word. <laughs> so I've got a giant frozen snow dude. Just humongous. I can't believe the scale of this thing. That is really good detail as well. Really amazing work here. And the splash. I like that quite a bit. I mean, yeah, it probably looks exactly the same from the backside there. This is hugely impressive. Hang on, let me just hop up here. I want to get a good view of this guy. I'm going to have to do some research in between the cuts here to find out what this guy's name is, because otherwise, people are going... I mean, already, people are going mad at me in the comment section for having not seen Frozen, all right? I understand it's a film that I do have to see. I've heard it's absolutely brilliant, if not just a little bit earwormy with all the songs. But this guy's enormous! I'm guessing this is to do with the fact that I am constantly using ice and snow in my base and things. My base looks very cold and this guy has brought the temperature down even further. Now I think, actually when I just popped out there, yeah I saw a little red block over there. So I'm guessing this is a sign from false. Let's take a look. Well, you did go with a frozen theme. Yes, I thought I was correct. Wow, he's huge. I might have to keep him. I hope it's a he. I don't actually know. I don't know. Like I say, haven't seen the film. But that is a really, really cool view from coming down into the base. Oh, that is so, so very impressive. Olaf. Olaf is his name. I have just done a little bit of Googling. And yep, he is the chap from Frozen. I know, as I say, that is probably going to rustle some jimmies. The fact that I haven't actually seen the film Frozen. And I will have to watch that at some point. But uh, this guy, I mean, this is pretty much as good as seeing it, all right? This is pretty much as good as seeing the film. He's enormous. How tall do you reckon that is? I mean, we must be going on about 30, maybe 50 blocks up. Who knows? But I have to say, I am really, really impressed. From a technical standpoint, 
from like a, a building perspective, to get that level of shading and things, it's so, so very good. My mouse has just run out of battery as well, <laughs> but that's just so, so impressive. God, everything's going wrong today. My exam's going wrong, really hot in the hall, sniffles and everything. Now my mouse has run out of battery, so I'm just going to have to do some very linear, linear movements here. But as I say, I am so impressed by the level of shading that Fulse has managed to achieve here. I don't know if she's used some form of photo editor or if it's just by the eye, but God blimey, this has blown me away, that. So of course, if you do want to see the entire building process, all of the blocks being placed, then you're going to have to check out False's video. I have to say, obviously, I haven't seen False's video yet, but I will be highly, highly disappointed if there are no instances of her singing songs from Frozen, all right? If there's not, hate to say it, False, but I might actually have to unsubscribe. I'm just kidding, of course, before I start any controversy down it in the comment section. But that build is really impressive. Sadly... Don't think I'm going to be keeping him for particularly long, but I am going to oogle at him for a little while longer whilst I say we need to get False back. All right, we do need to get False back. There's no doubt about it. False needs to be pranked. I am yet to do any form of prank on Hermitcraft this season. Okay, episode 61, that's a little bit ridiculous. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to compound all of the pranks that I would have done previously into just one Alpha Amiga just absolutely mahusive prank. So I guess that's coming. I guess that could be on the way. Let your suggestions go down in the comment section. I would love to hear your input on that one because I know I know that my brain is pretty good at coming up with evil things to do. But you know what they say, 620,000 brains is better than one. So I'm sure you can come up with something pretty creative. I actually have a pretty good idea of what to do. So worst comes to the worst, we're going to do that one. But as I say, would love to hear your input on that one because... You guys can be pretty evil and pretty creative, so I can't wait to hear your suggestions. But anyway, I think that we have looked at his snowy goodness for about long enough in today's episode. You guys have had a good look at him. I'm sure there isn't much else to see apart from the front side. Let's take a look around the back. Let's make sure that it does look exactly the same, just in case. I think it is only one block wide, so yeah, there shouldn't be any surprises around here. Right, okay, everything is looking identical, so yep, it is just this. An impressive build, a really impressive build, and I will just say that of course False's video will be down in the description, but I think now it is deconstructing time. Well, we are going to be taking this guy out, and you know what, I think it's time for a third person time lapse. <laughs> Oglaf is now all gone. He has been taken out. It actually took a surprisingly long length of time because of all of the wool. I really do wish there was a way to efficiently take out wool. It used to be using shears. That used to be the fast way of doing things. That's now actually been removed from the game. So you just have to punch it. You just have to punch it with your hand. And it takes absolutely ages. So that was that was a little bit painful. But we managed to get there in the end. And Oglaf. Olaf. Not Oglaf. What am I talking about? Olaf is now gone. But what I thought we'd do is, as a little reminder, as a little reminder of good old Olaf back there, I thought we would create a snow golem in this area because you guys have been asking for them, okay? You guys have been asking me to put down a bunch of snowmen down here. So I think we are going to do the first one. This is Olaf. Let's just chuck ourselves down a jack-o'-lantern. I hope this works. 
There we go. I don't actually have any name tags at the minute, and he's probably going to die in the rain. So I hadn't really thought of that one. But there he is. He's looking good. Olaf is alive and well, sort of. A little bit smaller, that's for sure. But more three-dimensional, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. That is actually all I've got time for today. I have, I've, I'm have i in a bit of an odd situation because I've recorded half of Sunday's episode of Hermitcraft. I've now recorded Thursday's episode of Hermitcraft that's going to be coming out on Friday... And then I've got to do the other half of Sunday's episode of Hermitcraft, so I'm a bit all over the place. But as I say, yes, I've run out of time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.